it's just so sad to see, man. I mean, look at our two carbonated beings. You got Q and Coach P, or how you want to pronounce these niggas' names. Don't even matter nothing but titles placed upon placed upon slave masters who have been working with to control opposition. Doesn't matter what skin color they are. Either way it goes, these deities are doing nothing but smiling and mocking us in front of our faces by taking ownership or as it says you know has been sold to this company for 300 million so of course you got a bunch of deities that have no control over their own quality of people but yet and still they feel as if they can smile in our face and they can't control our quality within our music by allowing these two carbonated beings of our community sell their rights and their ownership of their company to a bunch of people that have no interest in what we have going on besides pushing the satanic and luciferian agenda to place upon our people the thing is too if you really study the frequency of music and why it needs to be pushed like that it's because all that matters is your subconscious mind especially at a young age and at a young age if they can push the quality of sound and music that is being presented to your ears, then of course your children will be forced to listen to this same exact control quality of frequencies because that's all this is. Nothing but frequencies being controlled at an expense that you pay for through mixtapes, albums, doesn't matter what you download in these different sounds of symphonies from these artists that you look up to. And all these artists are a bunch of sellouts. So by these two being the head of you know, this record label, the people under them, so Baby, Migos, Lil Yachty, all these different names, they're enslaved to these two people right here who are so Scooter Bryn or Braun and whoever this other guy is could be Korean, whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter his ethnicity. But every time people and the thing is too with our community, somebody will look at this and be like, Man, you sold it for three hundred million. That's just that's great, bro. That's terrific. You deserve that, man. More blessings coming your way. This and that. That sounds good. That sounds neat and all that. But you know what they're doing behind closed doors to our people, and these same spells from spellcasters smiling, shaking hands with you. You're committing a false agreement with these different people to own these types of narratives over our people. And you know it's wrong for them to be doing that. But of course, when money is involved, what is wrong in this sense? Because money can still live in hell. Money can still have a smile in hell as well. It can still create its own life there. And many of these people know that they are enslaved into these higher ups that they look up to and they work with because, of course, they have signed a oath that they can't speak on. But of course, all they can do is show their face and smile. With well, this picture right here, as so we can see, you know, I'll put this right here because... If you just use your clear intuitive gifts or your clear gifts, you can use your psychic gifts as well, telekinesis. Now, of course, somebody will say it's just a picture. What's you know what's the matter with this, Devon? Either way it goes, you got Demi Lovato and Ariana Grande. However you want to pronounce their names, doesn't matter. These poses right here hold a lot of weight because for one, Scooter Braun, I'm pretty sure this guy right here is enslaving and enchaining people who are working for him because they deserve so much more, but they're probably in a contract to where they can't get themselves out. So it's basically them selling their morality out and their dignity because, of course, the two of them are basically cloned and they're just controlled to push a certain narrative for a certain demographic that people look up to for these two. So Demi Lovato, she's sitting here pretending to choke him. But the thing is, she really wants to choke him with two hands, but she's not doing it because it's a picture. And that's where the thousand words. Ariana Grande looks annoyed and she's sitting on the other side of him as well. So you might as well say the angel on the right and Satan on the other shoulder as well. But I'm doing that. She's looking up like she's annoyed, but she's so fascinated with her lifestyle. It's like, what does she have to complain about? Because look at who she is. So there's two different sides of that coin because, of course, there's a whole digital footprint Demi Lovato and the uproar that she had the turmoil she had on the internet had a whole documentary but that's what happens when you sell your dignity out and your integrity because people some people don't know that they're actually trafficked into these industries to become famous and when people like this are holding these carrots over your head they basically have blackmail over your whole existence because of what you did behind closed doors to get to a level of fame and the occultic practices that you 
did behind closed doors, the, the rituals, the dark magic that you performed on yourself to be able to get cloned because of course the real you is no need anymore once you sign yourself over to the other side these fraternities especially to people like him because who knows it could be european could be jewish but either way it goes some people don't know that a bunch of jewish corporations are the ones enslaving our people because they know that they can make billions of dollars to their families their corporations their other higher-ups that they owe as well because it's all Luciferian fraternity anyways. And many of these people are of that stature to where they have to owe somebody some money and they owe somebody their life as well because this person probably saved their life or helped them get to somewhere in life and without them, they wouldn't be anything. So people like him who are basically having other labels give their rights up and give their ownership of their companies to him, he's just becoming more richer and richer. And a lot of times these people are selling their selling their energy to this person to get to get it monetized because they want to keep a certain lifestyle up it's the I, I never understood that because it's like you have everything you want but you want more and the thing is too people can't find attention at home or in, in their room so they go and sell themselves out and of course you got these two sitting next to each other because of course quality control gave ownership to them and them two just smile and let you know that it's not just a coloristic perspective of what enslavement looks like because enslavement comes in many different forms of vessels. And because these two vessels are lighter, you cannot dominate these two in the corporate game or in a satanic game as well, or just in business in general, because as a carbonated being, you will still be under their family as well because they both work for these puppet masters that are above them. And these two owe hire different orders of different people more money so they need more people to sell out to make their dreams a reality by pushing these negative narratives to get our kids and our youth to act degenerate or ignorant towards what they're rapping or speaking because these spells these spells are for one they have done nothing for our community all they have done is killed us made us act wild out of the ordinary made us go outside of our nature to where we have perverted it and inverted it into a different dimension and a lower dimension. And on top of that, we have cursed our generations to come because we are too fixated on the lustful aspect of ourselves to where we don't form bonds anymore. And by us not forming bonds, we don't know that we are the ones that should be holding accountability for ourselves. But because we don't know how to do that, we are looking for leaders in the music industry because they look cooler than us or because they have a certain car we want, a certain house we want. They have a certain group that they're in and we want to be a part of, a part of that lifestyle just like them. So because of that, we are too fixated on living in a facade on the virtual reality of things to where in our reality, we don't know that we are living in a perfect environment for us to enhance our own fruition. But we had to stay gracious and use gratitude and walk with humility to understand that you are at this you are at the correct speed for your journey so it's not you aren't meant to be at a certain level that most people are rapping at or singing at or playing a ball at because you can't comprehend that enlightenment you would have to go into an occultic fraternity and sorority to even understand how to make money beyond the millions because you don't become a billionaire just by being a good person you don't become a millionaire by being a good person either because you need to have people working for you as well. Meaning that there'll be a lot of people who will get their consciousness enslaved because they know that in order for them to get on the upper echelon of societies and to be known and to get paid, to get their mom and dad out the hood, they had to go and meet with some Jews or some Europeans or some Koreans or Palestinians to get their life in order. And because of that, these people are sitting here walking around like they own us because we keep selling ourselves to them because of a facade that we keep on living in and that our parents and our grandparents and our cousins and our siblings have pushed down upon us. Now, of course, with Lil Yachty, it's the alter ego of Miles and his mindset. Now, for one, he is a genius. And because of that, he uses that to his verbal excuses because for him to get out of things, he has to be smarter than the average person by doing psychedelics or by him being out of his mind or out of the ordinary for his raps or just being a person in general and because of that he knows what is going on so by him recruiting caribou and concrete boys in general 
he was able to not only get them to listen to what he said, but he had ownership as well. So by him paying for all their earrings, their chains, their clothes, all these different venues that they go to, he is a part of that. He's the reason that they are in that for a reason. And he will hold that over their head because he is basically like his puppet masters that are standing right next to him, smiling. And P's on the other side, his left side, looking look, like basically me mugging because he knows well, actually, it's just probably just a regular pose anyways and a regular face for the camera. But they know behind closed doors what they're doing, but they don't care because, of course, they're making millionaires out of suburban communities or. Yeah, because basically, if people know about, you know, Atlanta in general, I believe he's from Cobb County. The Migos are from they're from Athens, but they moved to Gwinnett. So either way it goes, they're relating to the youth and they're building them up and molding them up. But of course, all of them are dispersing their own groups. And because of what Lil Yachty did, he is basically pissed off that Caribou owes him money. But she's not really going for that right now because she knew what she was in. But because she signs what she signs, she cannot speak on it. But she knows that she's trying to... And what's crazy, all this is too, is just nothing but a PR stunt, propaganda, all a distraction. Because... He needs to make more money. So because he's doing this, he's basically making more money by bringing more attention to him because his name will get bigger and bigger. So he is going through a humiliation ritual right now. On top of that, Little Yachty does not exist to Little Yachty or Miles, whatever his real name is. Miles is nothing but his... That's who Miles is. Miles, behind rapping, off camera, he knows who he is. But on camera, he's playing a character. In the raps, he's playing a character. So by him doing that, he does not act like that behind closed doors. But we don't know him for who he is. But he is going through a humiliation ritual behind closed doors and on social media as well. And when people keep on talking about this, they are shining light to his enlightenment. Because he knows what's going on deep in the game. But of course, he does not give a fuck. Why? Because he owes people money. His gatekeepers know he probably went up to them and said, hey, look, I need some money to uplift this crew I'm making with Concrete Boys. And I got these people who can rap and I need to get their life style. I need to get them more attention, more fame, more views on their music so that they can become rich as well and be their own boss. But they had to be under me as well. And they were probably OK with that. So with her with this chain on. Chain is the indication. I don't know why people are wearing chains. The thing is, too, chains do look nice, so I can't sit here and hate. But the thing is, when you are wearing a chain, you still are going to have to owe that chain back. So whenever you see those videos of people putting chains over people's necks, that literally is a mockery telling you, yeah, you are a part of me. You are under me. So this chain will remind you every day, you owe me money. So you can go ahead and shine this shit off. You can flex, do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, you know how much money you owe me to my fraternity and my industry that i am a part of and you are a part of as well on top of that excuse me people who believe this story on the internet you are believing a lie a virtual lie on top of that because for one Lil yachty knows what he's doing to get more money because for one he knows that his one of the slaves that ran away from the plantation owes him some money so of course he can't chop the legs off he can't shoot the arms off he needs to do another way to recover from this lesson that he is taking because this is a L staying upon his career and it makes him look bad as a boss, quote unquote. Because of that, he shitted on the two people that have helped him along the way of his journey. But he is basically holding it over his head because for one, he has enhanced their lifestyle far beyond what they can comprehend through success. But of course, you will be able to be a multimillionaire by giving up your integrity and your morality because you have done things that people would never do and you are okay with that because you can tell yourself different or weird and weird is accepted now because you have pushed a whole wave of rap or just music in general so they knew what they were signing themselves up for and you can't be mad about that because in the fine print it tells you not even just that these bosses quote unquote will not sell you what you are working for because they just need an employee to enhance their pyramid scheme they just need an employee to enhance their pyramid scheme and you are the perfect fit so of course getting a light skin who looks good to some people she's probably got a nice body somewhat can rap without you creating her raps 
But either way it goes, she has the image. And the lighter the color, the better this looks for not only him and his brand, but her as well. And she damn near got a million followers on social media as well. So it all works for both benefits. <clears throat> Excuse me. But because of that, she'll be able to create her own utopia off of this because she basically bit the hand that, fe that fed her. And she got a name for herself. She got buzz for herself. So she can go ahead and create her own sound because she got exposed. But either way it goes, she's light-skinned. So some niggas don't care. They'll still ride with her till the wheels fall off. And they don't care about how she looks about this. But Lil Yachty cares the most because what he's doing looks bad. Not only to his best friends and shit, but people who look up to him in general as a leader or inspirational inspiration of a musician. And with this track right here, I had to screenshot that because I didn't want to play the whole video. But it's a reference track of what she rapped on the radar for the freestyle for her in the green room. If you haven't seen that, I'll have a picture as well. It was the moment where when it was her turn, he mentioned how he planned the whole thing out for her to blow up and be on top with the 808 being switched up and the beat slowed down for her and sped up. And he was referencing how he made that rap up. But it's like... All you're doing is just shitting on the person you were trying to uplift from the beginning without it being mentioned on social media. Because you brought it on social media, you wanted that attention because you know that the more attention you get, the bigger the money will get as well because people will start streaming your artists that are under you as well because DC2 Trill dropped a song at the perfect timing for this to be happening. The people that grew up with Lil Yachty as well are laughing at him to get their name bigger as well. So it's all nothing but streams of people who are in the same group getting bigger off of somebody's humiliation ritual at the end of the day it's all a pyramid scheme everybody eats at the end of the day because they know that when one person goes down others go down as well but they're not mentioned but they'll mention themselves in somebody else's business because they know it's their business as well and by this happening people are going to keep on selling themselves short by wanting to be a part of these different industries to become famous, to make music, and to basically help their mom and dad lead a hood or the suburbs, get their own spot because they refuse to work a nine to five job. They know what they had to do to sell themselves out to get tickets, to get known, to get on tour, to get currency even in their sleep. But to do that, they had to get themselves away to a certain extent. And because of that, most will do that beyond exponential rate, but you are not willing to do that because you know you have morality, you have integrity. And on top of that, you know that a nine to five will save your life for whatever time you want it to be because you have no time to be selling your dignity. And some people do not care about their dignity or integrity because all they have is this fame and notoriety because it's made them who they are. So because of that, they can't go back to a nine to five job. They can't go back to being broke because they know what it feels like to be broke. And that's exactly why some of these artists refuse to be broke. So they will do whatever they can to get a record deal, not knowing that you have no enlightenment on what you are signing yourself up for. You are basically signing a 360 deal. You are basically signing a 820, 170, 190, whatever the deal may be. You are getting fucked in the back end. It does not matter what you deem it to be. You are getting screwed over and you are literally enslaved into owing these labels money. When you know damn well you cannot pay it back. So now you have to go out and sexualize yourself. You have to make yourself lighter to get more attention because some people are colorist and racist because they hate black women and black men, especially masculine black men. So because of that, you know that if you cannot sell with just your looks, you have to go out and sell your body and be half naked on the internet because you know that lust will sell, sex sells. That's exactly why you keep pushing this narrative, not you, but that's exactly why rap or musicians will push a narrative about sex selling because of course they can't sell it physically and because they have empty fornication they will rap about something that they don't do behind closed doors or they may do it but they're doing it at the endiness of lust and because they practice lust 24 7 it's all they rap about and sing about because they have to push that narrative to make themselves more known because more negativity that they are pushing out will get their mansion paid for, their bills paid for, their cars, the girls, the clothes, all the things they need will help them enhance their reality.
for a long time being. That's the thing. What are you being? Because whatever you think you're being, you're not really being that. It's your alter ego because spiritually, you would never want to be a rapper. You would never want to be a ball player. You never want to be a musician. You never want to be a fashion designer, swimmer, architect. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You will never want to be these things, but your mental capacity, your state of mind, your altered hypnosis wants to be that because you are hypnotized by chains, by material possessions that do not matter or serve you any fortitude when you are alone and by yourself you will do things that are strange for a piece of change because you are pleasing your ego to get a gold watch to get a rose quartz to get a whatever these different diamonds and masonite all these different titles whatever the case may be you will do whatever to get this shit around your neck you will do whatever to be a sellout you will do whatever to get monetary gain you'll do whatever to get your name on billboards you will do anything to have people scream your name you will do whatever it takes to get all the jordans that you never had you will do what it takes to get a mansion for your mom and your dad you will do anything to get a private jet to say that you are riding first class you will do whatever it takes to flaunt all 15 of your cars on instagram because nobody knows what you really did behind closed doors and because we don't know what you will do to make yourself seem as if you are not suspicious you will wear all dark shades to cover up the fact that you are your eyes are watery behind those shades because you know what you did to get to where you are in life and all that fame all that money all those girls will not make you the real man you think you want to become because you are always going to be the bitch chasing after hoes as a hoe forgetting how hoish your subconscious and your submissive ways are when you used to be dominant but now you have been dominated by a bunch of submissive dominant egos that have no identification of their true skin color but because they have morphed into a spiritual enlightenment that you can't comprehend they make it seem as if that they are a different color from your vessel and because you allow them to smile in your face they're going to play in your face and put in fine print this negro does not know i'm going to enslave him for years to come even after he dies i will still make money off of him and people will not care about you when you are gone unless you are an iconic entity creating ignorance through your spell casting you have to figure out why you are doing this shit and who you are doing it for because these labels will not save you from yourself all they will do is enslave you and your spell casting rituals that you speak through a a mic with the frequency in the background letting you hear yourself on how you feel about what you're going through not knowing that all you can do is just leave if you wanted to but why would you leave all your riches behind when you worked so hard to get to where you think you are not.